Hi, I'm Dr Sarah Price and we're going to talk about internal wall insulation or external wall insulation today and how you make the decision which one to go for. Sometimes the decision is made for you, so I'm sitting in a room where we've got internal wall insulation because this wall is actually a boundary wall and so we can't insulate outside. There's also other reasons like planning or if you're in a conservation area or simply just not enough space outside where you might have to insulate internally. But if you have a choice, I would tend to go for external wall insulation um, because it keeps the building fabric warm and dry. It protects the building fabric um, in the long term. Also, you're less likely to get thermal bridges or cold bridges. Um, so if you do internal wall insulation, for example, you have to stop where you meet an internal wall or where you meet um, a floor or a ceiling um, in your home. And that creates a cold bridge where there's a gap in the insulation, basically, which can let out more heat. With external wall insulation, you don't have to stop at intermediate walls or intermediate floors. You can just go straight up the outside of the house. In terms of cost, they're quite similar in cost. But with internal wall insulation, you can do it room by room. So you could spread that cost out over a period of time, whereas external wall insulation, you would tend to do it all in one go. With internal wall insulation, you're obviously going to lose floor area and you're going to have to move skirting, redo the flooring if necessary, put your electric sockets all back in again. Um, and that can be very disruptive in, in, a, in a kitchen or a bathroom, for example, where you have a lot of fitted units. So all in all, um, I would say external wall insulation is the first port of call if you have the choice. But it is possible to do retrofit with internal wall insulation. You do need to be very careful with the design of wall insulation to make sure that you're not putting the building fabric at risk. So make sure you get somebody who knows what they're doing. Speak to an architect, a retrofit coordinator or contact us at inhabit.uk.com. Thank you for listening.